So a little life hack here. I needed a trailer for this boat so I could bring it home and work on it over the winter. And what I found is that it was about half as expensive to buy a trailer that had a boat on top of it than it was to just buy a trailer. So I picked this up for $225. It had a uh, mid-70s sea sprite fiberglass boat on it. And uh, I brought it home, stripped it down, took the boat to the dump, all before my wife found out I had bought another boat. So when I drove it up here, I, you know, you always want to just check, not, don't put your hand on it, but just check it when you stop for gas, make sure your bearings aren't getting warm. And without a boat, just empty trailer, I didn't have any problems, but as soon as I put this um, boat on it, took it for a short drive, uh, the bearings on the other side started heating up. And uh, when I jacked it up, you know, it was clear that the bearings were gone over there. So I got the trailer jacked up. I got the uh, wheel off and there's this inner bearing race back here and I'm not the first person to run into this problem. Um, it's sort of stuck, not exactly welded on there, but it's it won't come off. I tried, uh, you know, pounding it off with a chisel uh, using a uh, monkey wrench and it won't budge. So I'm going to try to see if I can get this thing off with this very inexpensive um, bearing separator kit. So this is what this looks like and it's it's very not great quality but what would you expect for 18 bucks you know. So if we can get this off this axle I'll be happy if that's the only thing it does in its life. So let's give it a try. Like most of these things I've never done this before. Uh, so I'm just assuming, there's no directions or anything like that in here, just assuming this goes on the back here and it's got some threaded holes and in our box of tricks, let me get that just kind of tightened down, finger tight I suppose will do. I've got um, I'm gonna put these in here I think I'm going to need the link. These are kind of just extensions, I think. So let's screw those into that hole. Look at that. They don't even point straight. I guess that's... I'll work on that. And this is going to go in here. Uh oh It's not going to be long enough. Alright, well that dilemma is solved, I guess, by uh, finding a couple of longer bolts. Of course, they aren't the same size, so I had to sort of shim this one out a bit. All right, so we've got this set up now. Let's see if we can pull this bearing off the axle. Okay, we're just going to take it easy and see if we can get it to slide off here. Oof. These things are bending way in. Let's try this again. I know it's not like welded on there, but it's it wants to just bend. slowly coming off. There we go. It's just <laughs> it's gonna be a competition between this this race and this wonky puller. Which one's gonna break first? Alright, now we seem to be sliding a little bit better. Well, I guess we can 
call that a video. I'm not, I have no idea how to pack these bearings. So I probably shouldn't make a video about how to do that because somebody else I'm sure has done that. But that's how, oops, I haven't gotten it yet. I probably shouldn't speak yet. I'm going to swap these out now so I don't have them so long. But, you know, there you go. That's how you do that. Um, if you're stuck on the side of the road, that's a much harder question. Um, if you had a file, I suppose you could, you could try to file a slot in here and use a chisel and, and break this open or uh, a Dremel with the little thing. But you know, again, if you're stuck on the side of the road, that's going to be tough to do. Um, your uh, ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure there. Whenever I stop to get gas, Put your hand above those axles, see if they're getting warm. Don't ever grab onto it, because if it is hot, you're gonna burn yourself. Um, and if you feel it get warm at all, you know you got an issue, and replace those bearings. Good luck. All right, what I found was the inside race, inside the hub, which I thought I could just reuse, is really scored up and bumpy because of it tearing up the old bearings. So I'm trying to use this puller to get that race out. So you have to find, I had a little trouble finding a strong enough metal bar to put in there. And these are the little hook things um, that I've got in there. And now I'm just trying to see if I can get it to come out. I'm just slowly seeing what breaks here first. I don't know what's happening. Let's see. Oh, it's coming out. All right. So I am getting that inside race out. And then I'm going to see if I can push the new one in there without having to have any sort of hydraulic tools or something like that. So, all right, let's see what we can do. Oop, now I've got it wedged in there. Uh-oh. Uh oh Stay tuned. Okay, so now the problem is that I have this bar across here that the pin is pushing on and it's it's pulling it up with these little hooks here but with the bar across here I can't pull the race up past where this bar is so I've got to get something that supports it from the outside there. All right, so let's try uh, I've got this bar across the wheel. That gives me a little bit of room under here. Let's see if we can pull this up. All right, and there, it just popped off. Now, let's see this new piece. So this is the this is the new bearing. And it's got this race, and. I think I'm going to be able to, well, i got to figure out how to press that in there. So I was able to pound the new race in simply by putting the old race on top of it. And I think I've got it down there far enough. I should be able to snug it up with the bolt, uh, if not. Now I just want to see if I can get this back out. I, I left, there should, there's enough of a lip, I think, that I can get it out. All right, it wasn't quite as easy as this video is going to make it look, but with some futz and around there, got that out, and this new race is seated in here pretty well. I think I'm going to have to snug it up, hopefully with the uh, axle bolt, push it in all the way, but um, I think we're going to call it there, all right, unless something else comes up that I need. Good luck.